Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of money making guides for Iron Man. Normally I'm gonna make two videos about it. So two videos about money making methods for Iron Man. This is the first video. I'm focusing here on the low medium level Iron Man, so mostly on the low level. If you are new in the game as Iron Man, you can use the money making guides I'm gonna show you in this video. So the first one, if you are new in the game, maybe a little bit risky for the hardcore Iron Mans, but for normal Iron Mans is a really great one. We are here north of Edgeville in level 40 wilderness, so at the lava maze. To do this one you need any kind of weapon to slash the webs and I should bring a couple of foods. So once you are here, slash the webs and we have to go to this location. So keep running through the lava maze until you see the lesser demons or the staff of earth. Once we reach the staff of earth we can start picking them up to make our money. So this one is really easy money for Iron Man. You just come here to the lava maze in the deep wilderness and you pick up the staff of earth and the steel play body and just hop to another world till you have a full inventory. Once you have a full inventory teleport to Varok or just run back to Varok. Go to the steel play body shop or the staff shop and just sell your items there. For people who have 55 magic already you can just bring a couple of nature runes and fire runes so you are able to instantly all your staff of earth and your steel play bodies. So of course if you do this on busy hours because it takes a while before the steel play bodies and the staff of earth are respawning. So try to do this money making method at hours not a lot of people are playing to make the best profit an hour. So now just once you have picked up your steel play body and the stuff of earth you can just hop to another world. So if nobody else is doing this you can just hop directly to another world, keep staying on the same spot and just pick up steel play bodies. But sometimes you will find rules where there are no steel play bodies anymore or stuff of earth. That means somebody else is doing this at the same moment as well. And sometimes it will be better to just pick up the stuff of earth and the steel play body in the same world at that moment. So when you are doing this money making method at moments nobody else is doing this you probably can expect 200 to 300k profit an hour if you have 55 magic so if you all the items here. If you do not have 55 magic you have to bang the whole time and walk the whole way back. If you do not have any teleports in the wilderness yet. It's probably gonna only make you around 100k, maybe 150k profit an hour. So if you all the steel play body here in the wilderness or just sell it in a shop, you will receive 1.2k each. So this is the first money making method. So you can do this in a lava maze, but there are a couple of other locations in the wilderness where you can make money. So if you go to the ruins just north of Varok in level 28 wilderness or something. If you go to the ruins you will find steel plate legs here also a golden ore. So if you pick up the steel plate legs you will be able to all them. The gold ore is pretty useless to all. These ones you can take to your bank to train your smithing later or make some jewelry. Something else you can find in the wilderness are sapphires. So if you come to this spot in level 44 wilderness you will be able to pick up sapphires in each world so if you want to make jewelry yourself and you need a couple of sapphires you can just come to this location hop to different worlds and collect a full inventory of sapphires here you will find some chaos ruins and otherwise in the wilderness you will find some iron bars and stuff like that but that's kind of all you can find there so let's go to the next money maker for the iron man so another money making guide for Iron Man that is making directly cash is in the Agility Pyramid. You can find it southwest of Narda or just south of Polivnic. So you just have to enter the Shanty Pass and coming with the carpet to Polivnic or Narda and just keep running south and you will be here. So before you start the Agility Pyramid you have to talk to Simon about the pyramid tops, the artifacts and what he is willing to pay it for. So after you have done that just climb down on the rocks and just start doing the agility pyramid. 
I will say before you come here, I recommend 51 agility at least so you don't fail that much. You can start doing the agility pyramid at level 30 agility, but you will fail too many traps here and you will waste too much time. So maybe it's better to just come here when you reach 51 agility. If you get 60 or 70 agility, you won't almost fail anything anymore. So it's kind of up to you when you will come here because with a high agility, you will make more money an hour and you will also get more agility experience an hour. So another couple of things, you have to bring some water skins, but be sure you also bring a knife so we can cut water out of the cactus you will find around the agility pyramid. If you bring too much water skins, your weight will be too high. Also, your weight need to be lower than 10 kilograms. So when you keep all the pyramid tops in your inventory, your weight will be increasing. So it's better each trip you when you have a pyramid top from the pyramid, you bring it to Simon to keep your weight below 10 kilograms. And you will also have less chance to fail. So once you reach the top, at the western side you can climb up the rocks so when we take it our weight is 12 kilograms higher so when you have a couple of them in your inventory you will start failing too much traps here so it's also great if you can bring full graceful or boot of lightness the spotted capes or any weight reducing armor so once you have the pyramid top, we have to go back to Simon to exchange them for 10,000 GP each. And this way you can make some great money as Iron Man. Normally with 50, 60 agility, you should be able to make around 200k profit an hour doing this. And once you will give your artifacts back to Simon, you weight will reduce again and this way you will fail way less traps in the agility pyramid so it's good that you give every trip the pyramid tops to Simon so you can keep doing the agility pyramid without troubles and without failing so something else you can do as Iron Man as low level is coming to the catacombs of Great Corinth so to get here take the boat in Port Serum and come to the center of Sea. And here just investigate the statue and you will be in the catacombs of Great Corinth. Before you can start doing this method, you will need 15 Slayer and also a couple of Range levels. So we're gonna kill a monster in the catacombs of Great Corinth here, the Banshees. You also will need Air Muffs or the Slayer Helmet for it. So first when you are in the catacombs of Great Corinth, run south till you see the ghost. Here you just run west till you see the Cyclops. Just keep running south here. And here we have to squeeze through a crack. When you see the ankles, just keep running west. And here you will see the twisted banshees. There is a safe spot, so you can do this pretty AFK. So this is the safe spot, and here you can just arrange them. So these ones not gonna make that much money in an hour. They are dropping a couple of battle staffs and rune items like the rune full helm, the rune mat helm, the rune daggers, air battle staff, element kite shield. So pretty useful stuff to awk for money. Also they're gonna drop often cosmic runes and some chaos runes. So the cosmic runes are useful for iron man. They also gonna drop after and pure essence, so this is also very useful on an Iron Man to train your first ring crafting levels. So of course with a lower ranging level you're not gonna kill them that fast as I do. Probably your ranged armor will be worse than mine as well. But normally you should be able to make around 50,000 coins every hour doing this. Of course if you keep the battle stats for later in the game, so if you want to make bird battle stats or something. You're not gonna make that much, but personally, I think it's better to just keep your battle staffs on the bank until the moment you are able to make the earth battle staffs or any kind of battle staff. So, mostly, you're just gonna need to wait on rune drops or air battle staff drops before you can all them for cash. 
but this one could be great you are training some ranged in the meantime and you are collecting some stuff for later also pure essence for training your crafting level and you are collecting some cash also they're gonna drop often herbs and herb seeds so that's also useful for the farming level later another great money making method for the iron man is stealing the keys from the guards so to do this you have to go northwest of lambridge at a dungeon sign before you can do this you have to complete the dead to dorshun quest and you also will need 20 thieving so pick luck the trapdoor here once inside go south keep running south until you are in the middle so here you have to run once more south and you will find an hidden trapdoor you will only find this one after completing the dead to door and shun quest so just pick lock it climb down and here you have just to pickpocket the guards so if you have already 55 magic you will be able to make more money in an hour than the other iron man without 55 magic so first of all pickpocket the guards until you have a couple of keys in your inventory you can have bronze keys silver keys steel keys there are four different kind of keys also you will see four different rooms with four different chests so each room have an other kind of chest and you have to use the correct key on the correct chest if you open the chest you will have a chance on sapphire ruby emerald or diamond jewelry so if you have 55 magic you can all hit here otherwise you have to bring the jewelry to the guy in poor serum and there you can just sell it to the shop so once you have a couple of keys you have to go to every single room here and open the chest and you will receive your jewelry if you have 55 magic just all hit here steal again keys and just keep doing this for other people we're gonna show you where you have to go in port serum but first of all you're gonna make around 200k maybe even more if you will all hit here for other people who can't all hit and need to bring every inventory to Port Serum, it's probably gonna be around 75 or 100k profit an hour. Okay, so once here in Port Serum in the jewelry shop, you will be able to trade Grum, and here you can just sell all your jewelry as well. This way, you don't need 55 magic or any nature range, just come here to shop in Port Serum and sell all the jewelry and you have your money directly in your inventory so normally this money making method is gonna make you around 100 to 200k profit an hour it's kind of based on how many people are selling the jewelry in the same world and also how lucky you are if you have like a lot of diamond or ruby jewelry you're gonna make more money in an hour than that you had sapphire the whole time but it's a good money making method for iron man at the start and of course, you can also make money just with training your skills like fletching and woodcutting or mining and smithing. But for fletching, I went to mention this location. If you don't have that much flax on your bank or you are kind of too lazy to make your bowstrings, you can just come here in Remington. Because here you can almost find every tree except from the maple tree. So if you need to train your woodcutting and fletching level you can just come to this location close to a general shop so if you need to train your first levels just shop down the normal trees then you can shop down oak trees you can find them north of the general shop but also south of the general shop also south of the general shop you will find enough willow trees to make the willow longbows and the willow shortbows and when you have enough fletching you can just go northwest of the general shop and here you will find enough of yew trees so if you want to shop down maple logs and make maple short of longbows you will need to go to another location but if you want to train your early fletching levels and you want to make directly some money it's a great location to come to Remington so now we're gonna collect 10 oak logs, 10 willow logs and 10 yew logs and then I'm gonna make longbows of them and sell them in the general shop to show you how much profit you can make from them also, if you're gonna do this to make money, you're gonna need to hop often to different worlds as it's only good to sell 10 of them in each world. 
So once you have 55 magic, it doesn't really matter anymore if you come here to this location or not because mostly you're just gonna all your U longbows or something. But for the early levels or if you don't have 55 magic yet, you can just come here. So we just made 10 oak longbows and strength. You can just sell them to the shop and you get some coins. Of course, oak longbows won't give that much money. And if you are making the whole time oak longbows, I will say sell 5 or 10 of them in each world and just hop to different worlds if you are doing this for the money. So we're gonna do a couple of willow longbows right now to show you also how much money it's gonna make. So let's sell our 10 willow longbows and strength. And we get 420 coins for them. So if you can do willow longbows, you can easily make already some money. You can chop them down pretty fast. Just make them in longbows, sell 10 of them in each world and just hop to other worlds. So you can also do the same here with the U logs. And let's sell our U longbows unstringed once again to the general shop. So we got 10 of them and you get 1.7k. So it's not really worth to do this with the U longbows. And also it's way better to just shop down your U's in the woodcutting guilds. So there you have like a higher woodcutting level but it's invisible. But you will shop down the U's way faster than you will here do. Also, it's way smarter to just add a bowstring to the U longbows. But for all the other bows, maybe maple longbows, you can also use a bowstring on it. But otherwise, for the money, like as you are doing oaks or willows, it's probably better to just do it here. You are very close to the general shop. You're making some early start money on your Iron Man. And you don't need 55 magic for it. And for mining and smithing, it's just like the normal way. Mine some iron ore or coal. Make some armors, iron armor, steel armor, or maybe even higher based on your level. And just sell it to the shops, to the armor shop in Varok or any other shop they are buying steel play bodies or meter play bodies or something. And that way you can also make some early start money on the Iron Man. So I hope you can use a couple of money making methods as Iron Man that I showed in this video. Probably next week or in two weeks I will upload the second video about the Iron Man money making guides. Subscribe to my channel for more money making guides or any other videos. Thanks for watching.